friends, welcome to day seven, the last day of Junicorn. It's over already? Week. Yeah, well I only did seven days. That's oh. all I had. That's all you had in you? <laughs> well you're busy. June was seven days this month. No, but you committed, year. so that's good. I did more than I thought I would do. Well, and I guess the fact that you committed to something and completed it is the first step, right? Literally the only step, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, even if you committed to say, I'm going to do one day of Unicorn, and then yeah. you complete it, you do it. You've completed a task, you'll have the sense of satisfaction, yeah. you'll feel great moving forward. Next. Next. Completed. <laughs> um, this cut is print. actually cut print. Moving mm -hmm. on. This is my yeah. favorite of oh. all the Unicorn pieces. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because this one reminds me of a, a movie that came out in the 90s. It was actually a book, and one of... Uh, one of only a few novels I've ever read because, you know, I'm not a reader. Yes, I know this. Um, but it was, it's called Fairy Tale, A True Story. And it was a, a movie from the 90s? I was a kid when I saw it. And uh, about a it? Who, who little boy it? that dies and he has, uh, he's like building a little fairy village and these the girls take photos of the fairies and no one believes them that they're real and they try to prove that they were doctored and like, it's about fairies. Either way, well, this is very that doing. for me. Okay. Because it's got that vintage feel. The story is set in like the early 1900s. Like, oh, okay. Um, so it's, it's, it's very old timey. It's okay. It's the invention of um, f photograph, not photographic, elect something, cameras. <laughs> yeah, so probably late 1800s. You know about cameras. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. But yeah. Um, yeah, basically they captured, and this is before Photoshop, right? So if you saw a photo of a fairy, you just had to assume that it was real. Well, yeah, especially if they had, the only thing that they had was wet plates or something back then. then they yeah, had to, right? The fairy had to be there for a long time in order yeah. for it to get captured. <laughs> she was just posing, she was just, just, just looking. <laughs> that's, yeah, and that's why, that's why people like the old timey photos. Yeah. That's why everybody looks miserable. Dead because, pan. Because they would have to sit there for many minutes. I Whilst think, the, um, well, the, it, like the, it imprinted, it imprinted in the, yeah, mm -hmm. the chemical process kind of burnt the image into, into the film. Yeah, into the wet plate. Into the plate. Is that crazy? It is kind of nuts. This is giving me that very wet plate vibe. You know, one of the things I find really oddly satisfying? What? Is, um, aging paper. That's fun. Yeah, and you know when you put this blue tape on and you mask off the edges? Because yeah. you'd be forgiven for thinking like, oh yeah, maybe you could have gone further or maybe it's not enough. But then you take off the tape, you see what the page started as, oh, the yeah. white border, right, and right, you just right. think, wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> it's actually quite incredible. I, I did, you know, I did go a bit overboard with the aging of this one, but I, th I feel like this just looks like a really old drawing of like a traveler, an explorer that went out. Yeah, this looks like old Saw map. a unicorn and was like, I need to document that because, it was, you know, they didn't have photo photograph photographs and cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to a photographer and I get it wrong. Uh, I um, but yeah, no. But before that, before they even had cameras to document this stuff, they had to draw it. You know what they they do that in Tarzan, right? Yeah. Doesn't Jane take her sketchbook? Yeah, around for and reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, it looks I am Jane. <laughs> <laughs> you Tarzan, I'm me Jane. Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? That sounded like a dying alphabet. <laughs> so I am. Um, no, this this looks like a very old, like a Columbus map. Christopher Columbus. I'll be oh, astonishing. Please let's not go musicals today. <laughs> Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Have you guys? Has anyone seen okay. the um the I'll YouTube compilation of Christopher Columbus? Well, here's the deal. The, <laughs> the musical Little Women came out. I think like probably like 2000. Uh, Five-ish or so. They're yeah, doing a movie about. remake. Yeah, but the musical Little Women, a musical adaptation of Little Women, came out, came to Broadway mm -hmm. around two thousand five-ish, and the, one, the big song is that Joe March sings is astonishing. And throughout the show, if you haven't seen the show, her form of uh, expression is like Christopher Columbus. That's just what she says anytime there's a fun discovery or something's exciting. Yeah. She says Christopher Columbus. So in the song. She uses that self-expression, um, that, that form of expression, like, towards the end of the song, like, because the song is astonishing. And she goes, Christopher Columbus, I'll be astonishing. And so that's kind of what the whole thing is. But now there's a compilation video on YouTube of so many different girls or choirs singing just that part of the song that's Christopher Columbus. Just tons of Joe Marches. And it's so... Funny. It's so funny because out of context, it sounds insane. It's so ridiculous. 
It's so dumb. And and you, you've got to appreciate you've got to appreciate everyone's different choices. Oh, they, they are committed. They are acting. Yeah. Oh, they are acting. <laughs> Doing such a good they job. They are actors. Yeah. I mean, it's and you know, like the type. It's the type is like every you know, like young music theater girl, you know, who's in her th- musical theater program in college yeah. or high school. You know that one. You know that who that one girl was in in high school who sang all the musicals and knew all the parts mm-hmm. and was just like, oh, do you know Wicked? Do you know this one? Do you know that one? You know you know the girl. I'm an ingenue. Right. So <laughs> God bless all of you ladies and you girls who are, who are that type because we need you as well. Yeah. But, um, but you know you know the type that I'm talking about. So anyway, it's a bunch of those uh, ingenues, those, those music theater performers performing just that one bit of the song. I've got to give it to them. I, more... More, well, I would say more courage than I would have had at that age, but I think I was probably a bit more delusional than that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, I also takes, it does take a lot to do get up on stage. acrobatics for my school in with uh, some ribbons. Yeah. Get yeah. this. So, you know what? When you're younger, you're brave. Yeah, because I don't want you to think we're out here just slamming on these, like, poor teenage <laughs> girls that really got out there and gave it no, a go. No, because these poor teenage girls that gave it a go are some of our closest friends. Yeah, and... We've prob- all worked with them. <laughs> are probably earning... Well, Probably earning more money than I do in the entertainment industry right yeah, now. Yeah, some of these girls are probably like starring on Broadway and, and winning um, Tonys. But so. uh, but I'll uh, I'll just give you this: if, if you are one of those girls and you need some uh, payback from me, I gave my whole high school a rendition of Madonna's Frozen oh, in a handmade outfit, as in like I sewed it myself, and it was it was the ice version of Flames. <laughs> so just imagine like flames. I look like yeah. a hot rod, but all yeah. blue. Uh huh. Um, and it, everything was metallic and sparkly. Yeah, hence frozen. I yeah. also had it was um, pane velvet with like these frozen fractals all around, kind of print. Just oh, you were El- you were Elsa before Elsa. Oh yeah, I originated the role. Got it. <laughs> and I sewed on these little elastics so that I could, because you know I needed to dance and be acrobatic at the same time. So I sewed on little elastics to these handkerchief-looking things and put them on my middle finger so that at- oh, there's drama. Yeah. yeah. I look like a fountain at the Bellagio. So, so you could really extend yeah. the movement. <laughs> so that my arm was my arm and a whole piece of oh, fabric, fabric. And I was flipping across the quadrangle. It was cement, mind you. Also, I'm trying to do pirouettes and I've got no shoes on. I am like bleeding for this performance. It's also Madonna. It's also a solo performance. It's also Australia. And it's also Australia. I'm also 14. I maybe have dyed my hair with Schwarzkopf sun in. It went orange because I have brown hair. It doesn't lighten up that easily. I'm also overweight. I would pay to see that. <laughs> I would pay to go back and see oh it my goodness. and maybe do it again. I don't know. Look, no shame on my end. You know, so. we were all a little bit more bold when when we were younger, weren't we? A bit. Yeah. We were talking uh, to a family member the other day, um, and we were regaling stories of, of what you do when you're in yeah. your early twenties, uh-huh. and because um, you know we can talk about that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was a, a shock to hear her say, "I would never do that now." Mm. I, I'm not that brave now. Yeah. How do we lose being brave? If we're doing things and conquering these crazy fears, surely we're moving forward with boldness. Well, because I think it's just, it's it's simpler, right? You just, you're not, I think with age it comes wisdom, but also comes a whole catalog <laughs> of fear. Right, we're so beat down because, by the experience, because you, we don't want to do it already, again. Because you've already lived it, and now <laughs> instead, you, instead of thinking what could happen, you think what, like, what could happen for good, like... Oh man, I don't want to go. I don't want to risk going for that again because that was so terrible. You know, just like we, uh, you know, in our creativity, we should strive to be as childlike in our imaginations as we can. I reckon we should try to do that with just our general daily living. Yeah, just be bold, right? I reckon tomorrow I'm just going to put my little arm fabrics on and go flip down the street. Man, I want to be as bold and just sing Christopher Columbus with every part of my, you know, just in the middle of the mall. Fiber of my being. (laughs) Christopher Columbus! <laughs> it's really good, though. I know. I'm going to leave a link to that yeah, down below you, if I can love find it. it. Wasn't there another one, too? I th- think somebody else came up with another one for another... Off, I don't know. I don't remember. If I can think about it all, we'll throw it in, too. My guess is you're probably not going to end up thinking about it. <laughs> I know, but I remember I saw it right after the Christopher Columbus bit came out, and I thought it was just as funny. It'll probably autoplay for you. Yeah. I encourage you just it. to watch a few. Yeah. <laughs> Musicals, for me, are one of those things. I mean, I have to be in a mood. I, I think you could hear before that I wasn't really in the mood. Um, oh, I'm always in the mood. Nevertheless, we're talking about it. <laughs> uh, because I don't mm. I don't really enjoy having everything sung to me. That is not true. That is true. Maybe, but you also sit around humming and singing your little heart out over here. 
Yeah, but you don't think I don't hear you? <laughs> but I have the voice of an angel. <laughs> um, no, but I, I don't need like when I'm trying. If I'm just saying, sometimes it really takes me out of a dramatic moment. Well, I can't really sit in some. I, I get which it. is weird because it's not supposed to do that. It's only supposed to enhance the drama. When okay, you can't maybe speak, it's certain when, you, when you can't, when when you don't have the words to speak anymore, you sing it. And when you don't have the lyrics or the music to support the feeling any more than you dance it. That's the point of musical theater. Oh, so dance is the ultimate. Yeah. It could be, <laughs> it's, just a, it's, it's an extension of the expression. I know I get the artistic side of it. I'm just going to say sometimes it, it's like I've got to suspend disbelief for it. I think most people do. It's a musical. Steve just rolled his eyes so hard. Because, I think they're gone. <laughs> because it's a musical. Like, yeah, I know People are busting that. out this song. Like you're already, like you have to like that. suspend your disbelief going on people are breaking out into tap dance but my my personal experience i went to performing arts high school and it was very musical like what were that. you fame it was very fame mm-hmm. it was very that okay people singing in the hallways like yeah practicing well, that's stuff also that's just extra those back goes back to those girls singing christopher columbus yeah like i'm just saying sometimes i do get out of of that suspension yeah, of disbelief and I find it really exhausting. hard to get back in well, it. Well, sometimes it just gets annoying. Yeah, you've said that before yeah, too. Yeah, after a while I'm like, sometimes. Oh, okay. I guess my point is I, I hate those times when I'm not in it and I'm listening to it. Like today you were listening to something and I just thought, oh, please stop. Oh, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> I was listening You were in the mood, I was not. I, yeah, I was listening to um, the musical uh, of... A bridge, what is it? Bridges of Madison County. Yeah. And whilst he was doing that, I was in the office living my full fantasy to J-Lo's De Niro. Yeah, with Cardi B. Cardi B. Which so. I can appreciate both. But I think it's also different once you've seen the piece, once you've seen the show, like you can appreciate what's happening in the story. Mm-hmm. But the music in that musical is really fantastic. Oh, random side note. Okay. The, have you seen um, Jesse J's Queen video? No. Jesse J is doing a big celebration mm-hmm. of... of diversity and her queen video because remember I, I told you I came across like randomly on Spotify this um, acoustic cover of Jesse J singing queen months ago oh yeah ago. maybe I've heard I've heard like maybe I loved it yeah. it's a little explicit I'm not gonna lie but I, I don't know I was just really feeling it it was a total mood and I just kind of got taken with it and then her this is the actual like the radio edit if you uh-huh. will because I was listening to the acoustic still great still yeah. love it um, but her video is a big celebration of like all different types of women. Oh, nice! So I'd encourage you to go and see that too, because I, mean, I don't think it's it's one of those videos that you can't watch and leave feeling sad, right? Or like any kind of right. sorry for yourself, or like you just feel empowered. You just feel empowered and appreciative and happy and smiley. So side note again, mm. you know, um, before um, you know, when we were kids, my mom said we were just randomly talking to her and we said, "Hey, mom, like." Do you want our kids to call you grandma? And she's like, no. <laughs> well, what? Like, well, what? Well, why not? I don't like grandma. Okay. Well, what do you want them to call you? Without missing a beat, she goes, queen. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. No lie. Where's the lie? <laughs> <laughs> so you had to hand it to her. She was pretty bold with that one. It was funny. But um, queen. Queen. We have a nephew. Um, my brother has a has a son, but he doesn't call her Queen yet. Maybe maybe just because he can't say it. Maybe yeah, he's Queenie. he's kind of little. Yeah, but that'd be fun. Yeah. Anyway, um, I like this uh, drawing. It's looking very um, Leonardo da Vinci. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that called? The Man in the Circle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's its, you know, official name, but yeah. Yeah, but I said it with confidence, so I'm sure half the people watching believed right. oh, it. Yeah, the man in the circle. <laughs> but if they, if, if, if they don't know what it is, they, work. if they don't know what it is, they know exactly what you're talking about. You know, Leo DiCaprio is the man in the circle. <laughs> Le- Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> um, it reminds me of that movie Ever After. Mm, Remember yeah. where he? Um, I feel that where he draws her. I it's just, like, I really do love this. And then the iridescent paint on top. This is... Very magical. Yeah, I mean, this will not scan. So, either way, we're going to Ooh, leave shimmy. you with that. I hope you enjoyed Junicorn Week. Yeah, it was fun. I do love a good challenge. I will say, I like this one, maybe. This one looks the most like a unicorn to me. Unless it's like a deer. I did change the face a little bit. Oh. Imagine that. You're saying that like I should be happy. I don't care whether you liked it or not. <laughs> 
not telling him to change the face. <laughs> I love the hair and the tail in yeah, this one. I just like it, the wings, the iridescence. Yeah, it's really shimmery the horn. and pretty. It's Gorgina Stun Wario. What are you going to call her? Unicorn. Or is it a, or is it a him? <laughs> we don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm going to call it Man in the Circle. <laughs> Man in the circle. Um, thank you for joining us for Junicorn Week. I had an absolute blast. I love doing these challenges. I um, I, I can't wait for Inktober, but also I can. Yeah. Steve, any parting words for Junicorn Week? Um, remember, you are a unicorn. Oh, yeah, I'll second that. Yeah. You're a unicorn. Right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.